All right, so I'm not doing anything with my right hand. Let's see here. <gasps> the power, unlimited power. This is so cool. We're doing things. Woo here we go. How's it going everyone? And welcome to Art and Design. My name is Thorgir. And in this video, we're going to be checking out this device right here. It's called the Tap Strap 2. It's a wearable keyboard and a mouse that can perform air gestures. And best of all, it pairs with the iPad. So just be totally transparent with you guys. Tapwithus.com, who make the TapStrap 2, sent us this device in mail for free. And it sounded really cool. They just said, do you want to take a look at it? And I said, yeah, absolutely. And I thought I hadn't heard about this device before, but then I remembered that this was actually mentioned on Linus Tech Tips, where they tried to use this device to control basically the entire alphabet uh, using just gestures. So basically try to use this as a full keyboard. We're not going to be doing that in this video. However, we're going to be trying to use this to control drawing applications like Procreate. So imagine being able to open up layers by tapping like this or being able to, you know, control the colors by doing that. So the possibilities could be endless. So if you open up the box right here, we can see the pretty fancy storage case. Uh, that is also the charging case. Take over the plastic right here. And uh, yeah, this is the case. Feels nice and sturdy, nicely made. If we open up this, ooh, there's the device itself. Now, one thing to mention, uh, they did not pay me to say anything specific about the device, just so you know that. Uh, however, I did ask them for an affiliate link because I think this device is absolutely fantastic. And I'll show you why later on in the video. So in the box right here, we have some quick start guide and we'll get to that later. There's a charging case with a mini USB. There's a right hand glosser, which looks like a cheat card to remember a lot of individual commands. I'm not going to bore you with all the manuals and stuff in this video. So let's just get on with it and see how it feels. So just pop out the case and I'll be drawing with my right hand. So I'm going to put this on my left hand. Fits really nicely, actually. Very natural and really not uh, sort of in my way of any of the movement of my fingers. The thumb is a little bit loose, but simple enough to tighten that and make it snugglier. That's a word. So when they sent over the device, they mentioned that they had an app. So let's check out that app first. So here we go. The app Tap Manager. Welcome to Tap. There are some tutorial videos over here. So we'll turn it on and get into setting it up with the iPad. And has to do a software update. So uh, just wait until that's done. Okay, so it just buzzed at me. So the update is done. Uh, let's go straight into Procreate and open up the canvas. And let's just play around and see if we can do anything. I suppose it's just a test to see how plug and play this device really is. You know, can you turn it on, connect it and start drawing? Okay, so drawing something here. Very beautiful artwork. Wait, what did I do? It's doing things. It's actually doing things. Okay, okay, okay. So I think I actually need to get to grips with what I can actually do with this thing. It seems like a huge potential, but I'm going to take five seconds to learn how to use this and I'll get back to you in your time about five seconds for me, maybe a week. Okay, so a week was maybe a little bit optimistic. This took actually about a month. Now, the main reason for that is because I wanted to create a drawing profile that links all of the Procreate commands to the tap. So let me just go through a few of the commands that are bound. So if we tap on the index finger, we are in the brush menu. If we tap on the second finger, we are in the eraser brushes. If we tap on the ring finger, we are in the layer. So I can tap on the ring finger and I can create a new layer. So really, really quickly swap between layers and brushes. The pinky finger actually swaps between the primary and the secondary color. So it's really, really quick to swap between colors. You don't need to tap and hold on that little icon in the top right over there. And the thumb actually brings up the color wheel. So you can just be drawing and swapping colors. It's just so, so nice. I can't explain how amazingly nice this is to have the control just with a tap of a finger. Now, just like Procreate, if you tap with two fingers, you undo. Uh, but there isn't actually a keyboard shortcut for redo. So you can't redo, uh, and that's just a limitation of Procreate at the moment. If Procreate updates this, I will update it as well. That's just up to Procreate to add more keyboard shortcuts in the future. I really hope that they do because keyboard shortcuts are awesome. So let's say you draw something over here and you want to move it, you want to transform it. Well, just double tap with the index finger and 
there you go you can move it you can transform it you can rotate it or flip it or do whatever you want just double tap with the index finger and that brings up the transform tool controls just really easy to interact with procreate just with a tap of a finger now just as easy is selecting something so if you want to select a portion of the image you want to make an outline or something like that you want to select that that's simply done by double tapping with the second finger so there we go we are now in the selection tool we can make a selection and now we want to copy paste well the thumb and the index finger is copy thumb and the second finger is paste really really easy super intuitive once you get used to the controls and yeah copy paste move it transform it select it i mean ugh, this is just absolutely fantastic but for the rest of the video what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually create uh, some sort of drawing using the gestures um, nothing specific in mind just going to go ahead and use some of the brushes that i've created uh, link to those in the description as well just gonna chill listen to some music and draw with procreate and tap two Hope you enjoy the rest of the video as always like this video if you liked it please click that subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me in the future anyways i'll see you in the next one take care and have an awesome day bye bye